I feel that the future will be like this, that all that we've been living, maybe it won't, it won't exist. It will be different of what we have imagined for sure. Usually what it ends happening, it will surprise us. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm again joined by Kurt Hanschlager and Moon Ribas, where we're discussing if we are redefining perception through sensory art. Kurt, I understand that you're a fan of science fiction writing, and has that influenced your work around data perception and through various sensory moments? Wait, how do you know that, Riley? <laughs> I mean, it looks more like, it is true, right? Like if you look back like 40 years, then it was like this balance of utopia and dystopia. You know, in the future, there will be technologically hyper advanced and everybody lives happily in man-made paradise. And then it increasingly became this dystopian thing. Science fiction drove uh, to a good amount technological progress because it gave us the longing and, and you know, the outlook, the, the perspective, oh, we could do this, you know, let's work towards that. Moon, as a cyborg, is there any instance of you feeling something that you wished you could have shared with others? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I still feel that I'm a cyborg because it's my, my work and I'm, I'm actually looking for a new sense now to be connected with. It's a more profound connection to your own planet. I feel like everything is very human-centerized and I guess my artwork is more about being aware of other ways of existing and moving and living apart from humans. And that's why I think I'm, I'm trying to put like Earth in more artistic context so we can look and connect to, to it in different ways. I wonder if you could maybe share a little bit about what you see as the current context of evolution in our usages of technology. What do you see as we now start thinking about the future? I think we are halfway to the zombie apocalypse. So as an artist, it's very hard to not feel like a naive participant in this unquestioned euphoria to just push things further and further and further, no matter the consequence. And it seems to me that the solution for problems is always to put more technology into play. And then, of course, my question is, what's going to be the, the role of the artist in, in such an environment? And what I love about the art is that it brings something to the table that is not known yet and that has primarily upfront no function. And because of this, it can do unusual and unique and enlightening things. But is that a, a privilege one can sustain? That's the real question for me. So that's when I think about the future, especially the new generations like teenagers, they learn to code in school and now people use technology in order to, to express themselves and to do art and to have a more experimental relation with technology. And I have this idea that in the future, yeah, this digitalization will, will grow and everything will be more digital. But also I have this feeling that, that it's insustainable. Well, thank you. It's been such a pleasure speaking with you both today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.